Dr. Mark Changizi here with your Science Moment. I'm going to remind you today about some of the motivations for why we have vaccination programs in the first place. Now, one of the obvious advantages to being vaccinated is that you, yourself, are protected. You have a much lower chance of having a serious uh, illness by virtue of having COVID or whatever the disease is. But the other reason we have vaccination campaigns is so that by virtue of there being many people that are vaccinated, community spread is thereby suppressed. What that means is that even if you're not vaccinated, perhaps you just don't want to, or you didn't get around to it, or perhaps you're, you're immunocompromised and you couldn't or shouldn't get um, uh, vaccinated, everybody in the community ends up with a higher level of herd immunity by virtue of the fact that many, a sufficiently large percentage, are vaccinated. But the individuals who are vaccinated, of course, are still much better off. Now, the second reason, this general suppression within the community of transmission is something that occurs when the unvaccinated are amongst uh, the vaccinated. It happens when they're all intermingling. By virtue of there being many vaccinated people there, the transmission gets stopped and there's lower transmission. And I'm setting aside the fact that vaccinated today seem to be potentially be still transmitting. Let's set that aside uh, for the moment. Now, if you decide to have vaccination passports and you don't let the unvaccinated into society, well, where are the unvaccinated going to hang out? They're going to hang out with one another. The unclean are gonna hang out with the unclean. And this completely undermines the second reason, the community transmission side of why we have vaccination campaigns in the first place. It's so that we don't have these massive spread within communities. But if you're putting the unvaccinated with the unvaccinated, then you have no community transmission suppression at all. The uh, virus will spread amongst those communities and you'll end up with tremendous spread. And so the second entire point for why we have vaccination campaign campaigns will be undermined. The reason that people want to have the unvaccinated out of society is not because it's wise policy, it's because the unvaccinated haven't done the thing that they're supposed to do as good people. They're now viewed by virtue of not showing that they're in line with the good, they don't deserve to be part of society. Those are the kinds of psychological motivations which are pushing people to want them, not even in society at all. And these dangerous, these are very dangerous when you're looking at one group of people as an unclean kind of people, not deserving to be in society. These are the most dangerous psychosocietal forces that there are. And you have to be aware of them because they underlie all of the great tragedies that we find in societies and all the great genocides and democides that we've experienced. And that was your science moment.